Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Happy Monday to you. It's August 24th. We're going to talk about something a little bit different here. I've zoomed out on the VIX uh, volatility index to a monthly chart. And because of the enormous move in volatility today, on August 24th, the Dow is down 588 points. We need to uh, zoom out here and see what this is all about and uh, see if we can glean something from it. But uh, we'll be marking up the chart as we go along here. I suspect we're going to see some sort of reversal here. We did see a bit of a reversal on the day here. And this is, not, of course, not a daily candle. This is a monthly candle over here. We see the relative strength up here on volatility is as high as it's been in roughly six years since we were back in uh, 2008 when the VIX hit the all-time highs, recorded all-time highs of around 90 or so. It was a big push today. It's been a big push on the volatility for the last few days. People trying to reach for protection as they worry that the stock market was going to go down. And of course, the Dow Industrials have been down roughly 1,400 points over the last three days. And at one point in time uh, on Monday, we were down over 800 points. So taking a look at the chart, I mean, looking at the long-term chart, it's really difficult to tag some areas over here but we're going to we're going to try the best we can here and uh, you can see that once we broke that line here that this uh, downtrend line here it was uh, a straight shot up and you know when in a pan when, when people are selling in a panic and an emotionally driven selling going on here there are no targets okay there are no targets we could rise on the volatility index as far as we could possibly go here when people are just reaching for protection and buying puts Index puts, spider puts, Russell puts, it doesn't much matter. When they're reaching for protection and they're not buying any stocks in general, then it really renders any targets uh, useless. On this monthly chart, we see the MACD has increased to a, a, a pretty high level, which a level that we haven't been in since 2011. And that was around the time of the debt crisis the situation and we saw lots of volatility over here but we actually exceeded some of that volatility from 2011 and exceeded that today the most recent action is caused from uh, some turmoil in china with their economy and so forth and whether global growth is uh, slowing significantly or just a, a small amount uh, apparently players think it's pretty significant but once we get to this area over here on the williams percent r we should see a, a really sharp turnaround and I suspect it's going to happen within a couple of days but the damage has already been done right and uh, we have to be aware that uh, any reversal is probably going to be short-lived and going to be excuses to sell but as far as volatility is concerned we're in a new paradigm right here the days of uh, 10 12 15 percent volatility like we were used to over the last couple of years and certainly since 2012 are over for now so we're going to be living in this high volatility range, which means option prices are going to be expensive and it's going to be a difficult, difficult place to be making lots and lots of money. But we'll see how it goes. All right. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time.